Today we are going to look at a massive property. Matter of fact, it is quite a monstrosity. Located in the heart of Bel Air, California. Famously known for the Fresh Prince and also the Playboy Mansion. The last known price for this gargantuan property was $65 million. Currently, it is off market. It may have been leased or it is still available off market. This property has been toured by many esteemed home tour channels, including Anus and producer Michael, among others. If you would like to learn more about this property, please feel free to contact me in the comment section below. Now let's start the show. Again, right here, we're just gonna imagine that I have like some, some cool intro, you know, with some music going on and stuff. And I got, you know, properties flying all across the screen that are like amazing. And then boom. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Celebrity Sunday. I'm your celebrity host, Drayson. And today, as you know, we are going to look at a massive property that was once leased by Dan Belzerian. That is our, I guess, celebrity of the day. I don't know. I wanted to put this video on the channel for quite some time. I actually was going to use a much longer video, but I figured, you know what? This property has been shown like, oh my gosh, it's been shown by everybody. I mean, everybody's got to turn with this one. I mean, you know. I, I would make a joke, but you know, it is Sunday, so it is kind of inappropriate to make, you know, sexual innuendos. But let's just say, everybody got a turn. <laughs> and just leave it at that. So, yeah, it was last listed at 65 million. It was, you know, taken off the market, like, not that long ago. It was, it was like very, very, like, recent. And um, I mean, no one's no one's bought it they've been trying to sell this since they built it they built it or the completion according to the records is 2018 but they've been listing this property since 2017 and you know the initial price was 100 million so they're down to 65 million so you know it's a steal i i i guess but yeah at the end um i'll tell you what i think is wrong with the property I mean, it offers a lot of great amenities. There's, I mean, look, we're gonna look at it. Obviously, it's just like some really, really uh, basic modern architecture. You know, it's not anything really innovative. It just has a ton of amenities and amenities are really, you know, everything. But I'll tell you why it hasn't sold, or at least my belief why it hasn't sold. I mean, again, six years, no takers. You know, there, there, there's, there's a reason why, but we'll talk about that more later. But first, before we jump into the video, I just want to say thank you. I love you. You guys are amazing. And um, that's it. That's it. You know, no long heartfelt speech, at least right now. I'll save that for the end. So yeah. Anyway, for those who don't know who Dan Belzerian is, honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm saying his name right, let alone why he was even famous in the first place. But he had an amazing run where he was just in everybody's face. I mean, everybody's face. This guy exemplified essentially what a bachelor's lifestyle should look like. I don't know why I did quotations because he really did exemplify what a bachelor's lifestyle should look like. I mean. Tons, tons, I mean, tons of partying, tons of women. You know, uh, from my understanding, he's a high stakes poker player and that's how he came into his money. Uh, um, but yeah, he had some businesses going on and you know, this house that we're gonna look at was, you know, his house. Now to most people, they believe he owned the house. But to those of us who were fully aware especially since the information is always available. Uh, he was leasing the property. For how much, I'm not a, you know 100% sure, but it definitely was in the six figures. The last lease asking was about, I think, 285,000 uh, a month. I'll, I'll double check that. We'll double check that at, at the end. So don't quote me on that just yet. Um, but yeah, 
the house is massive the house has a lot of great features a lot of great amenities again so you know this will be my first time actually looking at a video uh, of this house i mean like i said everybody's toured this house there's tons and when i say tons i really mean tons of 50 minute videos touring this house only thing i can tell you that i like the most about it has a pool has a bowling alley but we're going to check everything else about this house and we'll talk about it uh in detail after the video Yeah, see, they rent this house out Everyone for tons Welcome of stuff. Everyone that's in here, another episode on the second channel. Wish.com. Well, today's episode is actually a little bit different. We are in Bel Air, and this house right behind me may look a little familiar because this is Dan Belzerian's old rental home here in Los Angeles. This property is insane. Our good friend, uh, Ryan Pineda, got us into this property. And this house has like 12 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms, 30,000 square feet. It's insane. We're not gonna see the whole house, but we're gonna see the cool parts. Let's just get started. So all we care about is the cool parts. Nobody wants to look at 13 bedrooms and 20 bathrooms. That's insane. That would be a huge waste of time. Just show me the amenities, baby. Show me the bars, show me the nightclub, show me the theater, show me the bowling alley. You know, show me the things that a $60 million property should encompass. So this house sits quite elevated from the street level. That driveway opens up and brings you up to the motor court. There's a security gate up there. And as you come up here, this is pretty crazy. You can probably park about 30 to 40 cars here. This house is truly massive. I mean, four floors, 10 car garages on the left, massive entry, bedrooms on the second floor, and common spaces on the third and fourth floor. And lower level has some cool rooms as well. This is just crazy. Yeah, you know when this was built? This Recently. Had, this 2018. had been built for like a party house, right? It is it almost has like a like a hotel type of look to it like there's like i said there's really like nothing about this property that's like architecturally profound it's just really super modern i mean it's beautiful and it, it, you guys know i love i love basic modern stuff okay i also appreciate architectural significance this has no significance. This is just a bunch of concrete and glass. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It, it's I I just said I love modern. Okay, so don't 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 come at me. I'm not disrespecting the modernness. All I'm saying is it's basic. This is basic. But I, I like basic, so I'm basic. It is a party house, let's just admit it. Yeah, like, it is a party house. I can't see this being anything Very much. else with this big a driveway, everything else. When this thing hit the market initially, like I think three or four years ago, it was for $100 million. Really? This is insane. Wow. And the rental price? So Wish is currently renting this home for $250,000 a month. And there we have go. been told that with the overhead, uh, house manager, everything, uh, their overhead for running this house is about half a million dollars a month. Isn't that insane? That's ridiculous. Very insane. Well, that's the cost for marketing. Good marketing. So now let's let's just go inside. So that's the cost for marketing. So you're saying that in order for us to properly market a YouTube channel, this is actually a reasonable investment. Mikey, you and I are not wishes level. <laughs> like, let's just admit that, okay? So we have no problem being truthful here. Look at this massive glass pivot door. Come on in. We have the entry here, some uh, bathrooms and uh, utility rooms on the right. Let's start here first off of the entry. This door opens up to the movie theater. I mean, this is a pretty good sized movie theater, comfortable seating, recliner chairs, couple days that cool like it. heats your drinks. Screen on this side, wall sconces. I mean, it's pretty nice. And Ennis, don't forget, we have free reign of this house. So at any point you feel like cracking a bag of chips or like- <laughs> Get a drink. A Red Bull. There's well, some tequila over there. This is you, a family-friendly channel. You know what, so. Mikey, you're right. Here's the point. That intro was quite heated, right? Uh, it's pretty bright out there, and I'm already kind the of hot. The theater so has the right vibe water here. for me. Oh, as we go to the bowling and it's connected alley. to the bowling alley. <laughs> when you're at this, this has the right point, vibe for me. I, I like having room for how space. It's, it's dark of, and intimate. It like it feels. In this case, it has a bowling. How else can you entertain? Let's see if you can knock those two pins out real quick. What they were looking to achieve, they did. 
No. Well, that ain't gonna work. Of course not. And guys, I don't want to look like I'm just all loose here enjoying someone's home. This is a content creator home. Like they want people to utilize we're this We're creating home. content. Yeah. Exactly. And we're creating the content as we speak. So let's see. Man, I Gutter suck ball. at ball. <laughs> I don't, one more try. You're, he's very competitive though. This is hard. Almost another one. Yeah, yeah up, this, another this one. This is no good in us. No. All right, Mikey, show everybody what you got. A gutter ball. Okay. <laughs> Show the face of disappointment. Gutter, gutter Let's ball, gutter, gutter, it's gutter be a ball. Long tour if we use every, every yeah. minute in this house. Parking gutter, doors gutter everywhere. Ball. Spacious. That's the entry right there. So this is the staircase going up to the older top floors. Elevator. That's the ten car garage. They're using it as a storage for their uh, waste stuff. But let's go upstairs. By the way, look at the staircase. This thing is steel frame, white threads. And as you go up, you look down on Los Angeles, pretty nice. Okay, there is like, level there's no two. view. So like, we have the bedrooms here. That's Los Angeles, pretty nice. Going up to the older. Hold on. Yeah, they're using steel frame, white threads. My bad, y'all. I'm, 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 ter I'm doing a terrible job right now. It was so fast, bro, yes. because this view wait, wait, was wait, so this insignificant. Staircase. This thing is steel frame, white threads. And as you go up, you look down on. This is so insignificant. Yeah, you had some some downtown action here, but it's not. This isn't this isn't a view you want for 60 million. I, let's just let's just leave it at that. Los Angeles it's not pretty nice. It's a okay. super duper level number two. So we have the bedrooms here. <laughs> Basic. That's the primary bedroom. We're it's as basic as it gets for a view. Uh, we have the elevator access. Kind of like a landing area for the second floor. Nice cozy seating, fireplace, couch setup. And we got a couple more bedrooms on this wing, but this one is open. All ready for the next person to stay in here because they allow content creators actually to stay in the house, which is cool. To stay, That really? is cool. Yeah, this is like a little mini hotel for content creators. and. Sliding glass doors, automatic shades, you get amazing views. So are you welcome to stay here? Yes. <laughs> really? I, I don't know if I am, but yes, you can stay in here. <laughs> Not you, Mikey. So, floating vanities, toilet setup. Let's get a quick look at the walk-in I closet. like the way there that tub go. is set nice up. And spacious. It, it, Keep in mind, again, 12 bedrooms, this, 25 bathrooms. And this 100%. Tub well. This 100% is like a hotel. If you ever like went to like a boutique hotel, like they have a lot of these in Miami, um, where the tub, there's there's either a glass, there's either a glass or it's just open. And you know why, it's it's like, it's the honeymoon suite, okay? Like, you know why we, we don't need to, you know, talk, get too, too in, in detail here, but you know, to be family friendly, this is how you create a family. Then you use a space like this to create a family. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is the word, Mikey? Like little edgy, little little out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no. Okay. No offense to Enos. This is one thing that I don't like uh, about you know, uh, not necessarily him. But just the disingenuous, I don't know how, 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 how I could say this without it being, you know, like, like I'm, I'm saying anything bad. Because I'm not trying to say anything bad, but when he glosses over certain things or, you know, isn't completely openly brutally honest about stuff i can i understand why he never says negative things about a property that that he's touring and that's because he wants to keep getting invited and getting paid to do the home tour he wants to you know like this is how he's making money like this is his business so he's not in the business of being like a fruit critic right there's just being brutally honest about something in that way people can have that information that's not who he is it's like he's going to give a glowing review of every property that he looks at but he's also not going to just say hey you know what 
This bathtub right here, I mean, look, this is perfect for couples. He could have just said that. This is perfect for couples. This is this is what you want. As a couple, this is what you want, okay? You want to, you know, rekindle oh, your, your flame and your marriage or whatever. You get a room like this where there's... There, there, there's nothing but, you know, birthday suits, then, you know, you, that, that's, that's what you want. I mean, that's, that's, that's what you want. So I get why he doesn't, doesn't do it. All I'm saying is it's not completely like genuine. That's the, that's the right word. I guess then disingenuous was, was correct, but to make it easier, he's not, overly genuine when it comes to little things like this saying that is kind of edgy or kind of out there like we are grown ass people this 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 all houses are purchased by grown ass people all houses are rented or leased by grown ass people yeah i'm being politically correct okay <laughs> grown ass people unless you don't identify as people and you identify as something else i i don't i don't know how to 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 go and make it any more and you know inclusive but this is for for adults this is not a you know like you're speaking to adults enos you're not speaking to children children don't view home tours like, makes no sense. Like, Enos, just say what it is, brother. Like, you come here, this room, if you're not having sex, you're doing something wrong. No glass? Yeah, was edgy. Edgy. Yeah. Edgy. <laughs> edgy. edgy. All right. Now that's that. <laughs> Dan Bilzerian did used to live here, so. Yeah, I mean, that he kind of set the tone for this house, I guess, to a degree. He Beautiful didn't build the house. I mean, also, the primary bedroom has a lock on it, which is cool. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, Fingerprint, right? I think so. By the way, the amount of stone they use in this house is mind boggling. Venetian plaster on the walls. Let's go up to the third level. <laughs> I'm, uh, oh, I was about to say, I'm 100% sure there's an elevator in there, but if you didn't see it, it, it was there. Right in the all staircase. Right, now we're at the third level. This is where we have all the common areas, get a, a like view the seating of the areas, bar, elevator kitchen, right here. dining areas, all that good stuff. Staircase goes up to the fourth see? floor. Ele elevator. Uh, okay kitchen and all that on the third floor and let's go this way first yeah okay and this is kind of the communal snacking floor we got snacks everywhere we got drinks so this is the we key have three area bars on this level that so is a we'll huge kitchen quick. and guys keep it in mind i mean this house was built to entertain this is this is the kind of kitchen you want if you're going to pay a huge price point like this this kitchen is ginormous and then you have the open space like this this is all uh, like crazy this was well thought out, even though it's on the third floor, which I'm not really necessarily a huge fan of. I will say again, this is what you want at this price. When you want this openness, you want grandeur. OK, you don't want some small closed off kitchen. And I'm willing to bet 100 percent that there is a chef's kitchen, prep kitchen, whatever kind of kitchen you want to call it secret kitchen uh sneak kitchen sneaky link kitchen whatever kind of kitchen you want i'm pretty sure there's one here and and to party that's why the scale of the rooms are kind of insane i mean this is the main kitchen and keep in Told mind you. right around the corner there's the caterers kitchen i never knew you can i guess caterers three kitchen. wolf four burners so they got 12 burners and two pot fillers and this massive custom vent design i obviously Book marble everywhere marble the built -in for suit. the backsplash Espresso maker two Insane. dishwashers sink setup these uh, cabinets we like these you know and if i we always say we want to use one of these melee espresso makers is this maybe a, this is the time is this the place maybe <laughs> maybe after the shoot look at the island design they got this nice Insane. Uh, top design. This thing is massive. Chandelier. How could you cook a lot. in and, uh, the prep kitchen or the caterer's kitchen? Yeah. When you have of, this uh, kitchen, that's just and stuff for amazing. Keeping drinks cool for your parties, you know. Ton of built-ins throughout. All right, now we have the seating areas here. I don't even know you can put that big of a gas that's fireplace. Fire, that's a fireplace. Wow. Yeah. There's multiples joined together. TV setup, marble. Yeah, that's everywhere. pretty insane. Let's continue. 
I mean, this feels like a big event space almost. Yeah. Wow. It is a big event cool space. Table, bar setup, obviously everything is Wish branded. So there's Wish logos, pillows, everything. More snacks. You want some Cheetos? Uh, I'm good for now. I look at this bar. I mean, it would be nice to live out here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, give it's us a, a party. call, Wish. Next time party. we're on a party, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there. It's a yeah. party house, for um, sure. Because it's designed to entertain, they have these literally public bathrooms with like multiple water closets, these open vanity setups. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. This it's, is Los Angeles. Wow. All right, let's go all the way to the other side. By the way, of course, these uh, floors all open up to these outdoor spaces with the sliding glass floor. I want to say ceiling height here is probably 12 to 14 foot. Automatic shades, ton of outdoor space. Continuing, we have the dining area here with a chandelier above. And now we're back at the main entry. Now let's go check out the other side. Again, staircase going up to the top floor, skylight. I believe there's two more bathrooms. Let's just show it. Why am I even talking about it? Just bathroom number one, stone everywhere. And there's it's another insane. bathroom. Mikey's kind of exploring this as we go. He yeah. doesn't even know what's in there. He's like curious, look at Yeah. Another bathroom here. You don't Again, know what's in there either, anus. So You're just opening you doors. As as possible. <laughs> how, I don't even know how they hide that many. I feel like we've only seen like four or five so far. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Formal this place dining is room, stupid. Chandelier, opening up to the views. That's a gorgeous table, by the way. And and another bar. The built-in all that. Room. This is kind of cool. Like this is kind of like your private dining it's area like a with these wine glass doors. Room, kinda? They actually have these automatic doors. I just realized that. Oh, they're um, key coded too. I like this back wall design so, with LED lighting. It's pretty intense. That's probably to me, to that's more. It should be more of a conference room. A sitting room, right? Possible because that there's, a key, there's a key, key locked entry. Yeah, this entry has got to. You Possible. got to handle your business in here. Yeah, I can see that. Climate controlled. Yeah, I can see that. Well, they also have these wine dispensers. Well, wine stations. Okay. All right, let's continue. Got more built-ins. Let's see. Another seating area. God, the amount of stone in this house is mind-boggling. Of course, everything is book matched. Stupid so amount of bars. This, like, it does look like an addition, but it's not. I see automatic shades above. I see sliding glass doors because you can kind of seclude this side. To me, I think this was designed as like your little party. It's like outdoor, a nightclub. Nightclub, yeah. exactly. You know, you got your Onyx bar, skylights, and it opens up to the outdoors. So the VIP can come room. In and out. We got a pool table. Yeah, the VIP right there. room right here. And this is kind of cool, like a little room. It's the VIP I room. I actually did a podcast here with our good friend Ryan. And if you want to watch that podcast, link in the description. He's the best. He's the one I that like got into this house. Like Y'all were sitting on these chairs in the podcast. Super right? comfortable. Yeah, get over there. Show people just the size of this. Super things. comfortable. Mikey, can you expose it to the outside and just show the views from here? Not a big deal. Just LA in the back with a golf course, you know? I don't know what yeah, this our view is like into, whatever. We tour like $50 million homes and go eat tender greens afterwards. It's kind of like a weird contrast, but you know, it's fun. Yeah, we get these awesome chairs to sit in. Exactly. And uh, let's go check out the top floor with the pool deck and all the uh, workout space. I know you caught this, Mikey. There's also that massive skylight above us. So we have these skylights above us and the entire- It's really nice. Rooftop deck is more entertainment space. So let's go check that out. Check it out, baby. Let's check it out. I like it. I like it. I don't love it. It's not open to the public. I said, fudge it. Outdoor gym like it's Venice now, Beach. Top floor. We <laughs> kind of have this enclosed space here. Some bathrooms on the left. Nice bar set up here. Beautiful fabricated stone seating areas. Another fabricated island there. These are a little bit more better. We're a little bit more elevated. But more importantly, this is where the outdoor space shines. So. You open up these sliding glass doors. This house technically doesn't have a backyard, but it has a massive rooftop deck. I mean, this thing is incredible. Let me take you guys out here first. What the hell does that mean, Enos? Technically, it doesn't have a backyard. It either has a backyard or it doesn't. This does not have a backyard. There is no technically. I love you, Enos, but I'm just saying there's no technically, bro. <laughs> yeah. So this is the outdoor gym. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a couple dumbbells, you know, and then a couple gym equipment. I mean, this has literally everything. This would be me and Mikey's dream. I think Mikey having a setup like this would finally get us into shape, huh? Yeah, quarantine's been pretty rough. Rough, super rough. I guess they probably I'm have technically like a, broke. Like a fitness influencer day. <laughs> you either like broke a, or you're like I'm technically day, I'm right? broke. And you just come here, just but pump. I'm, yeah, let me, see, let me see you pump a little bit. 
I, it's gonna <laughs> be like, rough. No, I'm good. I'll just pick this up. This even looks too heavy. That's probably too much. Oh wow, this was his gym so equipment. Oh my god, this is way too much. <laughs> no chance in hell. All right, let's just move We're on. We're talking about Let's Dan. just move on. We got we got a lot more to no see. No more weights. Because enough now, of this stuff right above uh, had this, his they logo have on the cover gym, uh, which is awesome. They have uh, treadmills, more of the Wish branding. By the way, there's literally 30 different fridges all around the house. Full of drinks. Yeah, it's what, awesome. What we should do a refrigerator tour, just in some video. Yeah, that's a video on its own. Bathroom there, gas fireplace. This is awesome. Now, backyard continues this way. We got more outdoor seating here. Nice little waterfall, adds up to the tranquility, and uh, kind of a soccer beer pong. Soccer beer pong? Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to kick it or throw it or. Is and there, I, I hope to God you don't drink soccer? anything that's in it. There 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 a trash can, painted um, trash cans. There's a ball. There it's you actually go. There's pretty a ball cool. Right there. I'm gonna try this. I have no idea. Man, I wish all the house tours were this much fun. Yeah. Like we we're just like enjoying. The I think house. you gotta stand behind it. Throw it. Throw it like a like a basketball shot. Oh, like with a hand? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> and misses. <laughs> okay, Mikey, give it a shot. Good job. No. Oh, come on. You guys I'm suck. just missing everything today. That's right. All right. Let's move on. All right. Outdoor space continues. Again, this doesn't have a backyard, but you kind of have this massive rooftop deck. And again, this was Dan Bilzerian's old house. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder how you even play. Like, what's the what's the goal? Is the whole the whole trash cans are you know the big the huge red cups? Do you fill them with ice? Because I know you're not filling them with just like you know beer because the beer would go bad. But do you have like buckets of ice with beers? Like, is it filled with ice and beers? And then if you miss, you have to take a. If you make it, if they make it, you you know you got to drink a beer, right? You got to chug a beer. Like that sounds like a crazy time okay house so i'm sure some of the scenes or moments in this backyard may look familiar let's just call yeah. it that way now this is really nice guys keep in mind we have a main channel second channel we work with other creators collaborations we've been working out a lot this content is not easy to make when we see pools like this i'm like ah we should have brought our <laughs> this could punch. have been the one we jumped in easily like they wouldn't have cared if we they jumped wouldn't in. have cared probably one day Spa, outdoor seating. Let's cover this, Mikey, first, then we'll go to the other side. I bet there's another fridge over here. There's another fridge. This nice little floating uh, bed set up over here. More outdoor like seating. That. There's bathrooms, lockers around. Again, they use this house to bring more influencers here. So, like, sometimes they have these certain days where, like, they invite certain type of influencers, too. So, it's really cool. I mean, they're utilizing this space as, like, their marketing space slash a house in L.A. to enjoy. Well, like we said with the gym, I'm sure they have like a, like a buff people day or fitness people day. <laughs> I don't know, Mike, if you want to call them buff people day. <laughs> By the way, okay, this is totally unrelated, but these... Now, uh, the view from like up angle. here, the view from up here, this is way better. But you got to come all the way to the first, the first, you have to come all the way to the fourth floor, the fourth floor to get a view. Now, I know you can't tell because, you know, it's overcast, um... But this is a writ like during the day on a clear day, you're gonna see the whole city, and then obviously at night you see the city lights. And this this looks amazing from up here, especially in the pool at this bar and you know stuff like that. Amazing, right now the gym outdoor, you know that's a uh, it rains in in L.A. probably like maybe two to three weeks of amount of days max. The whole year, the whole year. So we're talking about like 20 uh, days where it rains through 365 days. But for those 20 days, man, oh, man, that rain is just just all on that on on that gym equipment. And you obviously uh, still, you know, no matter what it is at, at some time, you know, at some point it's going to rust. It could be stainless, completely stainless, completely lacquered, whatever you want to call it. It can be completely all of that, and it's still going to uh, it's still going to end up rusting. So, you know, but yeah, the view, the point, the, why I re really paused was because this view, this view is much better. But you got to get to the fourth floor. The cantilevers are just really cool. They got one there, one here. Looks architecturally uh, unique. So I wanted to point that out. Pool is amazing, infinity edge, 
Let's go. You kind of have it's more a nice outdoor touch. space here. That's the staircase going down to the putting green. Instead off of just being a super floor, basic modern podcast room, it's outside of that. Look at these views. This is Bel Air. A little bit hazy today, guys. So don't 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 rip it in the comments. It's just it's morning in Los Angeles. I know Beverly Hills has the name, but Bel Air is so special. I love Bel Air. Now let's see lower level. Still a ton of outdoor space. We got seating areas, another bar set up on the other side. By the way, this is the skylight that brings natural light to the third floor. Stand on it. Uh, no. It's always weird to stand on these things, but. Can you see down? Oh my God, the reflection is crazy. You, you can't. I guess for privacy reasons, I don't know. We kind of have the pool and the Pretty sure you can see at night with the, when side. the light's on. Amazing views. I mean, this is incredible. This is what LA is all about. Granted, maybe this house is a little bit of an exaggerated version this of that. This is like a fantasy land of LA. This is what everyone outside of LA imagines LA to be like. You know? Pretty much. You know, this is where you throw like 500 people parties uh, without any issues. And it's a bit crazy, but uh, I mean, I can see the upside to it. And it's nice to hang around here, you know? Yeah. And that's it. Before we start eating the candy here, I want to thank Ryan for getting us into this house and make sure to follow him on YouTube. If you want to learn about real estate and check out our podcast with him as well. And big thank you to Wish for uh, allowing us to enjoy their property. In fact, speaking of these built-in fridges, Mikey, we had a decently uh, tiring day. So why don't you enjoy a little sparkling water? Spindrift. I haven't had this. I haven't either. This but episode is not sponsored by Spindrift. No, it's not. But if you want to let us know in the Nor comments. Nor Wish. But thank you, Wish, for, for letting us in here. Thank you, Wish. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Uh, we tried to make as many different videos as possible on the second channel. If you have any ideas, let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed them, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. So yeah, Enos, technically, technically, it was a really good video. I, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, in, in all truthfulness, uh, I like... I like this style of video. I just want to talk about Enos real quick. I like the style of video because uh, normally he does like a 30, 40 minute, you know, and he'll just like go over all these like simple details. We, we seen one bedroom, which I'm sure is because we were only able to see, you know, maybe a few different bedrooms. So he chose that one in particular, even though he didn't want to say with how the, the bathroom was set up, he called it edgy. It's on the edge. It's kind of, it's kind of out there, right? Instead of just being an adult, you gotta be an adult, Enos. It's okay, adults are watching your channel. This is not a channel that children are watching because children don't buy houses, nor do they rent them. They do none of the above. They're children, they don't care. They care about video games and cartoons. So, you know, the the whole, you know, just focusing on like the key things that sell a house, which is your your kitchen, you know, uh, your amenities, like just just focus on that. And that that's kind of what he did, you know, versus the other videos are like 40 minutes long. And I'm sure the uh, primary bedroom is massive, which is why we're going to look at pictures and stuff like that, um, you know, but. But yeah, this, this, again, this house remains unsold. They've been trying to sell it ever since pretty much has been built. Actually, even trying to sell it before it was even, you know, capable of being occupied. Didn't even have paperwork from the city for it to be occupied and it was on the market, which is a common thing. So it's not like they did something that was out of the norm. But we're gonna look at the pictures real quick. Um, it's just crazy, 30 bed, 30, not bedrooms, 30 bathrooms, right? 13 beds, 30, 32 bathrooms. Now it said on, on you know, Enos's blip that it was what, I think 12, 12 bedrooms, 26, 26 bathrooms. And, you know, sometimes information is different. You know, it said it was 30,000 square feet. And, you know, according to this, this record, uh, it, you know, which is, given to the assessor, um, you know, it's 26,000, you know, square feet and change. So a little discrepancy there, but you know, it, it could, it could be 30,000 that usually that's going to be according to the builder anyway. So, you know, give or take, 
doesn't really matter but let's just look at this of course you know at night it takes a very pretty picture it looks like a hotel slash nightclub right it has that has that vibe there's a reason why dan was very happy showcasing this house and wow you look at look at something like this it's like man that's your that's your neighbor you're looking into their yard and they're probably over there looking at over there like man those guys are partying again brother i don't like it brother and you got your neighbor right here i don't like it brother they're always partying there this place is massive brother why don't you go move next door to this one right here and be another massive property brother and you know this just didn't happen that way this i'll tell you this much if this house was up here instead of being down here it would have more value it would have more than likely already have sold right but we'll talk about why it hasn't sold in, in, in a little bit but yeah let's just look at the pictures you know look at the pictures here you know yeah you got your you got your love right here you know by the piano you know you guys got the beautiful beautiful uh nightlife setup right here you know you got a home theater which is not in in the picture you got but you got the home theater you got uh you got this right here brother um <laughs> the bowling alley the bar and then this kitchen you know all the stuff is, i mean this kind of has like a bar vibe still you know it's like man this is like a, such a great setup you to just have a guest chef come and serve whatever you, you like you want there's just so much space so much counter like Mm, mm, mm. right and i love these these uh, uh finishes I, again i'm not even sure what this is but it looks like brazilian walnut i could be absolutely wrong but if someone knows exactly what this is please tell me but i'm gonna say it's brazilian walnut it it looks it looks like it and then it, you know the gloss finish like it that's what brazilian walnut looks like with with a gloss finish so um, you tell me if I'm wrong or not. I, I don't. I don't mind. But yeah, this is this is like a, this is a great. This is a lot of the stuff we we seen. Okay, you got the again. I don't understand the gym on, on the roof. You know, for those few days that it does rain, it's gonna not look as great. But you know, no big deal. Oh no, they got rid of the the the, the cups or the you know giant trash can so this is the primary uh, i guess because this is like the larger bedroom what does the bathroom in the primary look like told you that the bathroom in the primary was going to be amazing look at this look at this huge tub oh my gosh look at the light <laughs> yo i love this uh, i i i love this you can you can go back and document you know i personally love oversized tubs especially when you put them in the middle of like the primary like this it feels grandeur it feels appropriate you know instead of having like these nice classy oval you know tubs where clearly there's only going to be one person to get in there and it's like you know i want to have like a hot tub you know um <clears throat> experience where you're gonna have more than one person get in the tub. And yes, it's a lot of space for one person. And when the one person just wants to take a bath, that's fine. I mean, this is this is what you want. This brings you closer. See, I'm an adult. This brings you closer to the person uh, that you love, the person that, that you're with, right? Because you could just be doing whatever it is. And you, know, you run a bath for your paramour, right? You run a bath and they're just in the bath and then next thing you know you decide whether or not you want to take a shower you can sit right here and have a chat you can go out here and have a drink smoke a cigar like this is a a, a very beautiful hangout uh space for who you're with and totally i can understand why dan was you know getting laid so much there's plenty of room for multiple uh women so yeah but yeah, I, I like this bathroom setup. Wow, talk about <laughs> talk about vanities and, and you know, like you got the massage. Yeah, like th see, these are the other amenities. Now this was the type of tub that I was talking about that I don't want in a primary. I'm okay with it being in another bathroom. This is a really nice bathroom setup. This looks like this might be the like, the spa part of the house because we just seen the massage uh, tables and you know the like the salon chairs 
and then over here looks like there's more than likely a steam room um but yeah this looks like the the um spa area so it's got its own spa this is a nice touch I won't, I won't lie this is a nice touch to have the waterfall coming from on top of this roof it's 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 really nice so yeah and like i was saying about the the view at night where you see all the city lights from but again you have to be way up here um to to get it and you know it's just it's one of those things now here's like the garage we didn't get to see the garage and like i said if you want to see like a video of the complete house there's there's loads there's loads literally loads loads there's literally loads of home tours that will be 40 50 minutes to an hour long to show the entire house right you got this tennis court right here we didn't really get to, to look at the, that part of the the yard um or the deck because there's not a there's no backyard okay there's no backyard you just have this huge uh, mortar court area you have the garage right here um you know and, and like i said you have this this deck right it's more deck that, that you know we didn't look at there's like a putting green over here and stuff but yeah i i mean this house for what it's worth this is amazing but there's only one buyer for it <laughs> there's only one type of buyer for it so let's talk about the house how it sits why it didn't sell you know let's look let's look at the look at the raw details uh, of it you know i'm sure at this point enough of you won't have any interest in this but this is where we get like super honest about you know why something so nice or so massive has like no appeal or not no appeal but has not enough appeal to have been already sold and we have to look at the very beginning which is they originally put it on for sale at 100 mil and you know in 2017 and there were some other properties at that time that were up for sale for 100 mil plus but those places were a lot more prestigious we're talking about uh the spelling spelling mansion um you know we're like there was loads of more like prestige at that time to be able to uh, you know a compass 100 million and then some of the enough of those properties that were listed at 100 million didn't even sell but you had to have some sort of prestige like the playboy mansion right that's a that's a hundred million dollar plus sale so they came out at the super high mark and they ended up coming down to 90 million you know uh, all you know in like the, the, the same year come down to 90 million right and then they end up going down to 80 million, uh, you know, a year after, then to 67 uh, million and change a few years after, and, you know, down to <laughs> 65 million uh, just last year. And like I said, it just it got taken off the market. So it could be somebody leased it. Um, again, it was available for lease. Let me now go double check since I can. Um, the last lease price was 275 million that, that I'm looking at. But in the description uh, that we, I got a screen over here that I really can't show you. But uh, in the description, oh yeah, it says 275. So my bad. So I, I put an extra 10,000 on it. So 275,000. I say million. 275,000 uh, a month is uh, what they're asking for for the lease. So I'm going to say Dan was probably in there for about 200,000 a month, somewhere around there, uh, since it seems like, you know, that's kind of like the going rate since Wish was in there for about, you know, a quarter million uh, a month on the lease. And, you know, it seems like they're out of there. So maybe someone else leased it. I think it's a, a I think this is an amazing property for like a multimillionaire um or billionaire that's that's young or like just trying to have a m amazing time i think this is a perfect place 
to rent, which is why I don't think it is sold. Now, as far as the property itself, again, it is a monster property with almost every amenity you can think of. It didn't have a basketball court, but almost everything you could think of. We're talking bowling alley, theater, our screening room, that was more of a screening room. It really wasn't a theater. I mean, for a place to be 30,000 square feet and not have like a like a true, true theater, you know, is, uh... actually I'm okay with it because that screening room was still a very nice size screening room. And um, as far as it being connected to a bar and in a bowling alley, I thought that was, that was perfect. That was a very, very perfect setup. I mean, you're having date night inside of the, the house. I mean, you have someone set up in, you know, at any, any of the given bars throughout the house, house had a lot of bars, which brings me back to, this is a, this is a very good rental property. This property is not, it's not a great purchase. I'm gonna just, just be honest, not, not at, not at 65 million. No, maybe at 30, 40 million, you know, I could see somebody buying it, but I don't think they want 30, 40 million. I think that's just not going to work for them because <laughs> in their minds, they already have uh, compromised 40 million from their original goal, right? Their original goal was 100 million and they're down to 65 million, which more than likely means that they will take 60 million. So in their minds, they're already down 40 million. So to sell it for 40 million probably doesn't work for them mentally, okay? Mentally. And granted, they are able to lease this property out because like I said, if you're young and wealthy, right? And this could be in for, for any bachelor, bachelorette, whoever is young and wealthy, and you know, you could be 40, 50. That's what I mean by young. I, for me, that, that's still young where you can like actually have a party life but like once you once you're 60 and you're talking about still partying and you're not Hugh Hefner that's weird bro that's weird but you just sold a business you know you just made it in Hollywood you're you're the it it guy and you just want to have the space to party your ass off this this is it this is it I mean, it, it really gets gets no better than this to rent, not to buy to rent. Because I feel like you if you buy this, if you buy this, you may never get your money back. Because when you if you buy this and then you get done partying, you're going to want to sell it. And then you're waiting and waiting and waiting for someone who just wants to party because this is not a house where there's a future like this house has no future like this is not a someone's forever home this was not built to be someone's forever home they built this specifically to entertain this is an entertainment house this is an entertainer's dream this is a house that would be more suited to be purchased by a movie studio because they can always have their events they can like do everything at this house. This house I'm sure has had tons of events, tons. And this is another reason why they probably are like, well, if we can't get the 60 million for it, the house produces income. This house will produce income. It will always produce income. This is a great income producing uh, asset, you know, on just based on the factor that it's a party house and you can sell party to any any business you can think of you can sell that to anything right you just can't get them to purchase the house so while the house has a lot of great amenities it's not a forever home this is a party this is is the house is it's a spec house and the spec is party so again i like a lot of the finishes like i really didn't have like too too much problem with the finishes the flow of the house is yeah the the Obviously, I feel like it could flow just just a tad better, but it's not bad. It's actually better than some of the some of the other houses that I've seen of this size. Um, one of the the 
one of the other things like i was saying about the view is that it's it's very much lacking it's very much lacking um until you get to that like that fourth floor that fourth floor the view looks great and like i said if it was on top of the, the that ridge next to that other massive house you know the one right here right the one right here if it was like next to this it would have like a much better view it would be by other massive homes you know because being down here and you know it's not the most ideal and then the last thing why you know this definitely isn't a home for like a celebrity like a true true celebrity no offense to dan but a true celebrity an a-list celebrity an oscar celebrity a grammy celebrity a real celebrity okay <laughs> right um is the fact that there's no privacy it's like yes the, the place is massive it's a huge compound there's there's a um a security uh booth right at the gate like all this stuff right but the house is right off the street and typically ultra like celebrities like to live a tad higher up so they don't feel like people are looking in in, in, in their house they also like to live in gated communities you know, and there's really like a lot of, of options that they have, especially in Beverly Hills and even in Bel Air where there, there's more privacy. So this is great. Don't get me wrong, this is great. I do like a lot of the finishes. Like you didn't hear me say too, too much wrong about the way that the property looked on the inside. I actually thought they did a really good job, especially having that massive kitchen. Like it was just really inviting, but this is like a house for multiple people. This is not a house. I mean, 13 bedrooms, this this house had has intentions for something other than people spending the rest of their lives there. This is intended for come and go, which is why it's, it's a rental property. And that's why it hasn't sold. It's a rental property. It's not, it's not a purchase property. So, you know, if the, obviously they didn't build it with the intention of holding on to it forever otherwise they never list it for sale so it they will more than likely eventually sell it but i don't see them getting 60 million for for this part of Bear, for for this part of bel air and you know for that view and for that lack of privacy and for no backyard you know i, I don't i don't see it I don't see it. But the place looks great. I mean, the primary suite is 5,000 square feet. That's two and a half of, of what I live in for the whole primary. It's insane. The place, the place is big, okay? The place is big, has it has everything that you could really ask for other than not having a basketball court or uh, like a, 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 a true gym room. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I, am I, am I overstating it or am I keeping it real homies? <laughs> am I keeping it, keeping it real? Um, so yeah, Done talking about this house. Uh, let's end the video. <laughs> let's end the video. And as you know, how we end the video, this is my favorite part, which is you. Because without you, I don't have any reason to even do these videos because like I could literally just watch the videos and study and, you know, take like little notes and stuff like that, which is one of the reasons why I watch the videos is just to educate myself on a market that I'm working towards. Right. I want to be in these ultra wealthy environments. And I'll, I see that for myself and I'm, I'm setting myself up for that, which brings me to this point about you and doing the same, right? Doing the same, 
because of you, I have a reason to do a Celebrity Sunday, which means I know I'm gonna know more about celebrity houses than 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 anybody. Like, just just through this, right? Where I do an Architecture Wednesday and start, you know, learning about like innovative designs that are not just super basic moderns, which again, I've said, I love super basic moderns. I, I just do, but there is true architecture out there that's just like, wow, that just stands out. And it's just like a timeless, timeless piece. It's like a, a Patek Philippe, right? Which I've been getting into watches lately and, you know, uh, starting to learn a little more about that. So point that I'm making is we can all set our sights on greater things, right? We can set our sights on reaching for the stars and doing everything we can to, to get to those stars. And if somehow on our way to those stars, we fall, we fall on the moon, baby. You know, people want to go to the moon. They're like, to the moon. And no, we're like, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to get past the moon to these stars up here. And if I fall on my way there through that hard work, my landing place to fall will be the moon. And then I'll be able to get off, get back up off the moon and jump back up and get myself back in, in the game to those stars. So do that, you know, like, sure. I look. The reality is the likeliness of me getting to these, you know, 60, 40 million dollar properties is it's, it's going to take a lot. And I mean, a lot, a lot. But the more and more I know and the more and more I'm familiar and the more and more comfortable I am, you know, speaking about all the little fine things, understanding, you know, who a buyer is, who is, you know, what like understanding all these little nuances right, will help me get there. And if for some reason I can't get to the 100 million, well, selling 20 million, 30 million dollar property, I'm sure will feel just as good. Hell, even a 10 or $5 million property will feel just as good because, hey, if that's, if that's what the moon is, I'm good with that. But I'm gonna keep going for those stars. Just, just look, just cause I, just cause I fell on the moon doesn't mean I'm about to just stop and just, just say, hey, you know what? The moon, the moon is great. This is a great place to set up. Nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm not done. So, we can all do the same. So just know, I really appreciate you guys. You know, you open me up. You, 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 you make. Even though you don't, don't know or don't understand it, you make me feel like I can achieve these things. You know, every time you watch a video, click, click the like button. Every time someone subscribes, it's like, wow, there's other people that believe in me too. There's other people that appreciate me too. So I thank you guys. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. I love you so much. So it's going to be the end of the video. I know it was long, but hey, when you appreciate the people that, you know, are, are here with you, you give them as much time uh, of yourself as you can. So I will always do that for you guys. Feel free, you know, again, always ask any questions in the comments. If there's something that you felt like I left out or there's something that I got wrong or something that you can offer me that's constructive, that can make, you know, the channel better. Do not hesitate to leave that comment at all. Hope you guys have an amazing week. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace.